But Are you, do you come from uh, where in New York? From the from the Bronx. The Bronx. But I'm. I mean, you say Super that. Visitor. You say that. But you know, I'm. I'm also like West Bronx by the one train. So I'm not by. Uh, I'm not by the uh, Metro North that gets here. Uh, quick side. I actually usually do pickups at uh, Eastchester Diorama. And oh, well, actually, I got picked up. I got picked up uh, in, in my area, so I was pretty lucky this time. Ah, yeah, nice. Meanwhile. I mean, yeah, let's get to the <laughs> match here, which is... Meanwhile. So we just saw Charles playing Snake. Did <laughs> he spike him? I, I, you know, oh. I'm going to be honest with you. I I forgot that that spikes. Well, if you if you uh, see any matches besides... That hit. Yo, he wow. hit him. On, he hit okay, him that was... On the ledge. I feel like maybe some questionable a lot DI today. there, too. Because learning a lot today. I mean, it could have been, but still. I feel like because if he was holding, if he was holding in, he would have already initiated to, like a get up. So he, at the very least, wasn't holding a direction. Anyway, very oh. nice, very nice dreidel games. I like this. Uh, let's see how Zaxel fares right here. He's down by a little bit, but a Bowser that's nothing. Rob, on the other hand, has to kind of play the consistent game plan. Rob doesn't usually kill at absurdly low percents. He usually needs to kill with Ooh, that setups. Was very nice. Ooh, but speaking of, oh, did you see Charles's face when that happened? I actually did. <laughs> he was just like, mm, okay. He was probably just reacted to that mistech and great capitalization on his part. Cool. <laughs> Going for his own. Uh... I, I like the option coverage by Zaxel, but I also like the sort of just option select by Charles where he knew if he jumped he would get hit by the gyro but he went for it because it meant that he would, wouldn't be hit by a leg up smash. Yeah, that's actually very good. I didn't even catch that. It's not going to kill. That move has absurd base knockback but the knockback growth on it also, is Bowser's that. That. <laughs> that too. Speaking yes. of which, you know, ooh, ooh. Yeah, Charles is doing very well so far in this stock. Just needs a little... Oh, oh is that it? Could be. Oh, there it is. Wow, I didn't even realize that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was two socks. <laughs> wow. Two socks. Two socks. Very quick. Okay, Charles. I don't know. Has he ever made it to Grands before? Who? Charles. I have, I have no idea. I'm, You're asking, I'm asking the wrong guy. <laughs> A few times he made it to Grands? A few times. Have you ever won? Okay. All right, so he actually just told us. It's always a little bit weird when you find out that the players are listening to you as a commentator. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, actually, uh, when, I was, when I was playing over there, I heard everything. <laughs> I, I, okay. I actually enjoy it. Oh, okay. I don't know. It doesn't uh, mess me up. So he was saying up. he's been to Grants before. He's been to Grants. Uh, cool. He's been to Grants, he said, about two times before, but he's never won. Um, and I don't know his record with Bobo. I think Bobo has the winning record on him, but I think they're matching Probably. pretty close. But before he gets to Bobo, first he would have to get from Zaxel. And that first game really handily went to Charles. But that's, there's no guarantee that that's actually how this set is going Ooh. to shape up. Right as I say that, though, Zaxel taking 76%. Very, very... Wow, okay, this is a very good advantage for Charles right now. He's carrying this exactly the way he needs to. Let's see if Zaxel can get his footing back. No. Nope. Wow. Yeah, Yoshi's. I don't the know if that was definitely benefits Rob here. Well, it benefits but Bowser. Mind, too, yeah, yeah. This was Zaxel's yeah, counter pick. Exactly. Uh, but the big thing that I'm noticing, Zaxel isn't getting his stuff started. He isn't getting his stuff started, and then on top of that, he isn't really getting his huge uh, like turnarounds. Right. You know where he just all of a sudden gets that one hit. Oh, all right. That's unfortunate. That was kind of handed to Zaxel. Charles. <laughs> that's why he counter picked. <laughs> Oh uh, yes, the SD counter. The SD counter pick. Listen, if you know your opponent SDs all the time on a specific stage, go to that stage. I don't know why I mean, you would if, know yeah, that. I mean, if they, if you're counter picking someone's habits SD, should you really be worrying about losing? <laughs> <laughs> but that's a that's a different that's a different story. All right, and that SD. And, yeah, all of a sudden, yeah, we have a hundred damage tacked on there. Yeah, that might have affected Charles. Charles. Right he has now. so much momentum in his corner, and now all of a sudden Ooh, he's top. down. Yeah. Two? Oh, oh he's he still is around. Wow. You know, honestly, yeah. the Encore logo, I can't see if people die in that direction. It's, it's fun. It makes it even it, more it, exciting. It is fun. I enjoy it. It's, you know, when commentators go, is he dead? It's even more accurate. No, 69, oh. bro. See, you can't mess with this number. It's the nice percent. 
Oh, he, he teched it. I don't I think he wanted that, though. I, I mean, I think <laughs> I it's, guess it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. We, I didn't we, even we, know we that he those. had to tech there. I don't even know what he got hit by. I guess the giant. He got hit by, like, some very weird... Something that's not even very heavy knockback. Right. Here comes big damage for Zaxel. Game one was a two stock. It's looking like game two might be a two stock for Zaxel this time around. And Charles just one percent off from the nice percent. Spike. But Bowser has no move that does one percent, so he's not gonna get. It. Very patient play by Zax. He's doing this very well right now, and he's getting to that top. Five all this rage, yeah. You don't want to give it this man. <laughs> you don't want him to have all this rage. All right, we are in the best three out of five territory, but uh. I guess it's a back know. and back, a it's, little bit of back and forth here. I think that like the last two matches, it's impossible to sort of project how the rest of the set's going to go. That yeah, game very, two, yeah, we had a we had a two stock reverse. But Lucario, but there also was the SD. Nah, that's not happening. Oh, wait, who's going to go Lucario? I, uh, it looked <laughs> like Charles was going to go. Lucario. That's hilarious. Lucario. Lucario Bowser is actually like a terrible yeah, matchup. Yeah, it's actually an awesome matchup. If you think about it. For like You'll seconds. literally never get Aura. Anyway, very solid startup right now for Charles. Right, and Yo, this was who would have thought? Uh, game 1 was hands. on the stage, right? Game 1 was on the stage, yes. Alright, that's big damage for Bowser. And now they are almost completely yeah, tied. Even, yeah, it's so funny because Axel only won neutral like once. And he <laughs> got 50. Oh wow, 88. <laughs> that move, that Bowser's flame breath literally does 30. percent That is a fair balance there. Now, one of the interesting things about Rob, I mentioned before, how he kind of relies on kill setups. That, like, a big part of that is. So if you're playing against the Rob, you know, and like if Zaxo makes a single mistake, Rob doesn't really have burst options that can just like kill you for making a mistake at higher percent. That's true. You know? That's true. And while Rob still needs to get these setups, the setups are very strong, but at the same time, he's pretty good at dealing with pressure up close and definitely from a distance because he can really annoy you with those lasers. I like that. Uh, Zaxo cutting the flame breath short. Knowing that it wasn't really worth it at that point. And oh, a beautiful trade. Gonna work out for Zaxel. And he really that really helps him out because before when we saw him go down a stock, he just wasn't able to make that wasn't able to make a comeback. Because having to make a comeback on Rob is just tough. Zoners it in is general, tough. but Rob in particular, just the man plays sorry, the bot. Just can play so evasive when he's defensive. And just like this, we have uh you know, he actually seems to be doing, like, Charles does pretty well when it comes to early, early percents. He tacks it on very quickly. This could be big. Oh. He reads the air dodge, but Bowser's bulk keeping him alive just barely. Still no, still no, uh, escape from disadvantage here. We were set neutral finally for Zaxo. He was in disadvantage for most of that stock. Flame Breath has actually basically been the hefty chunk of the damage from this stock, but... <laughs> that damage this stock has only been 33%. Good, good patience. This should be a big gonna punish. Get here? I don't think that oh, combos, combo, yeah. Okay. Too much rage. Oh! Oh! oh. The, uh, that was Bum, incredible! On his head like eight that times. was good. That exactly was exactly what he needed. Not only that, but think about it. Because he was doing those phantom footstools, he waited out the shield, and then the shield was able to get poked. That's because he was jumping above him like that. That was so smart very, from Zaxxel. Very, very smart. Now we have a Bowser with full rage, and this this robot <laughs> is, is so now able to sweat. Okay. <laughs> All right, so he gets fifty percent extra credit, and in this oh no no he did not no want no that. no he did not want he's that. dead! Oh no, my god! Good. What a recovery! I thought he was gone. And despite that that mistake there. I was, I was gonna say that he's still he's doing pretty okay, but it looks like Charles is starting to bring this back around. <laughs> Whenever Bowser has to like hit through the gyro, it just makes the most brutal sound in the world. <laughs> it does. <laughs> like what you would imagine Ooh, it actually Harry would is sound a like. Grab. I like that. Alright, I like Ooh, this okay. high recovery. The ledge trapping oh has I'm been scared. a big problem for him. 
No, he's, he's alive. He missed the platform, though. Just barely. Great uh, work on Charles's part, just keeping him out of there. Go down tilt. Okay, he's, he's saving it. He's saving it. Ooh, okay. Off stage. This is probably where the matchup can be broken. All of a sudden, Charles turned this around. Go! Oh! That Cooper Claw just went behind him. The next hit from either one of these Any guys of could these. probably could do it. it. He's off stage. That's not it just yet, but I love the high recovery. Or no, do I? Enough. Not enough. Oh, fat. He's that still alive. alive. He's alive. Uh, oh, okay, boy. the late hit of back end that's nowhere near enough, and he tries to punish See, that higher recovery. He's learning. He's learning. Oh, that's it. That's that should it. be it. Wow. Nice. I can't believe Zaxel stayed alive for so long. See, he one thing I like him, in there. I like that because he learned back from when he did back air. You remember when he hit him underneath the ledge earlier and he actually took a stock? He's not letting that happen again. Yeah, it happened game one. You know, I think he lost a stock to that. And every single time he, he attempted back air again, yeah. he and got it, up attacked again. And in game one, he actually had a lead and then uh, right. that happened to him. And yeah, but at, at the same time, it's... He's getting off the ledge yeah. against Rob. Yeah. Like, really think about that. I mean, that's true. I mean, is he using Gyro? Or like, he's he's using like because now I'm thinking he's about doing it. his best. Like Charles is doing his best to ledge trap him, but it's just not working out. Or at least the the, the presence of mind from Zaxel. He's getting past him. Feels like every time. All right, this time we're gonna have uh, right. the counter pick from Charles to Battlefield. Interesting. So funny, we went from triplats with like almost no blast zones to like triplats with the biggest blast zones. I'm actually curious his exact reasoning here. I know that one thing that Bowser could do on this stage is normally people love to shield on those platforms. You can't against Bowser. He has that command grab and it's just no. Oh jeez, that could have been really bad. <laughs> Very mm, nice. Speaking of burn. really bad. That's a huge stock for Charles, and now not only is he up, but like he's up by a lot. He can't just die to a Bowser. Thing. You know, he doesn't have to play around Bowser's kill options just yet, which means that he's free to rack on percent however he feels. I mean, if you think about it, though, even though Charles is really good at racking up the percent in the beginning, same thing. Zaxo has been very good at bringing it back. That was a just kind of double flub right there from both players. Oh, the drag down up there. That's so cute. Nice. Gonna keep the yep. Hard move. Bowser does right. have the gyro in hand, up. but he's probably gonna die right here. Beautiful Still around. Eye. Now he's holding on the gyro exactly what he needs. Oh, so give me that back. <gasps> oh, okay. All right, that was all right. Works out for <laughs> Charles, and now this is it works out for Charles. Yeah, Charles is a big body. That, that'll happen. Here. Three stocks to one, and really, what this makes me think is that when we look at Game Five, because we're probably gonna have a Game Five right now, uh, whoever takes the first stock, it's going to matter so much. Wow. Okay. I don't think he died that properly, but all right. You know what's so funny? Is Axel actually is pretty good at comebacks. This is the so Odo, very he doable. Absolutely is. This, this is, is very doable. It's doable, but. I think that both of these guys are also, like, in the back of their mind preparing for Game 5. It, it happens, you know? It does. It does. At least until uh, Charles gets to his last stock. Like, if you're Charles, you're probably thinking about Game 5. Exactly. I love the way he recovers. Never know where he's going to pop down low from right or left. What's the mix-up? Still that. alive after that. Yeah. I don't think he can take one more of those, though. Yeah, well, well, one more right there. I meant more like the setup, I guess. But yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess the setup. Because <laughs> the up tilt. Now he can't take yeah. another one, for sure. <laughs> now I don't think he can take much of anything. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, he could probably eat a few neutral layers okay. for the time being, but... See, if he this takes the, this, this stock, the rage. This is the rage. You never know what's going to happen here. I'd be sweating a little bit if I was Charles. I don't think your glands oh. have to... Oh, now your glands yeah, have to get going. Oh, oh, wow, he's oh, alive. Oh, alive. Okay. Okay. That that beam doesn't really send you anywhere, but it does like 25% of pop, I think. Ooh, that nice should be grab, it. But that's it, for sure. Yeah. And now if you're Charles, All right, so this we got is max range. Things get spooky. Okay. He oh. didn't have the gyro for some reason. Okay. Did you see that? He tried to pull out gyro, but... Yeah, I guess it hadn't re like, respawned yet. Where was it? I think it got like, thrown off the stage or something. Really? I didn't even see I think it got hit off the stage. 
All right, all right. Well, we got a we got a two two game five. You called it. Let's we'll see where we're going here. This is Zaxos counter pick going to be Smashville. Interesting choice. Smashville. I guess that one thing is we've been seeing a lot of high recoveries from the Rob. I feel like it's going to be a lot easier with a smaller stage with that platform only in the middle for Bowser to catch those landings when he recovers high like that. That's a good point. That's a good point. Because if Bowser gets center stage, the stage isn't very big. It means a lot when Bowser gets center stage. But also it gives uh, Bowser takes up tools. like a fifth of the stage. <laughs> he he kind of does. <laughs> Beginning of every match, we have a very strong opening from Charles. Every single time. That's pretty standard fare. Bowser is a bit of a punching bag for the early game. That's but true. really, like, it's around now that things start to matter. Because if Charles Ooh, can't see, get the yeah, kill, which he back does, air. it happened in game one, but I guess... You know, you forget about yeah, these you things. Do. I forgot that about was, it. <laughs> yeah, no, like that was actually amazing from Charles. He hadn't shown his hand. That's you know, right. It worked in game one. I don't think we really saw him go for that at all in the last three games. He might have had a chance for it to work even. That's but right. no, he, he's been holding it on to game five. The long con really working out for him here. All right, we're getting some good extra credit over. Ooh. That was cute. I think that that maybe was suboptimal. Fair, fair down tilt jab one. <laughs> Interesting. I feel like he could have carried that even more. Ooh. He can't beat the... Wow, he can't beat Gyro from... Okay. I mean, have you ever tried to sit on a Gyro? Can you show me a Gyro first? <laughs> I have never seen you one You haven't tried to sit on a Dreidel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, misses the grab. Definitely, uh, Zaxxel definitely needed that. Uh, that's not still... Did that oh. kill? Wow. Is that, is that bad DI? I don't think so. I think that, well, I think because they went all the way to the side of the stage right there. I think maybe he could have controlled it a little oh, bit more to 40% right there. Look at that. Oh, man. 63. 63. Ooh, 91. 91. And all of a sudden, this is even. even. Yeah. <laughs> We're even. I'd say even possibly an edge for Zaxxel. Well, not while he's in the corner. But overall, Bowser's kill power is kind of more consistent than Rob's. There you it know. is. He gets the stage control. Oh, loses it. That What's going to happen it. here? Yeah, uh, okay. can't take that, yeah. Too much rage from Rob, too. Charles still maintaining a lead. We still still claw, pretty much in control. Okay, let's see if the smaller stage will help uh, Zaxxel catch those landings. Really smart where Charles just went to the ledge. Oh, boy. Ooh, here's the combo. Doesn't complete it. Nice. Very nice capital. Let. Wow, very nice claw. Got a good forward air from Zach, so now this game is almost even, actually. I, I would consider it pretty even here. When you yeah, yeah when you think about the long scheme of things, how... <gasps> oh, no! No, not like this. Not like this.